Good morning. Today and for the balance of the week, our prayer room will be inhabited with praise offered up to God, echoing the sentiments of Nehemiah, who said, Don't be afraid. Remember the Lord who is awesome, and fight for your brother, your sons and daughters, your wives and your home. Reference Nehemiah 4.14. The moral meaning underscoring this scripture is that as believers, we should at all times, exercise selfless concern for the well-being of our family and others. These values bring into action practices of concern for happiness of other human beings. So without any further ado, I now introduce the following five prayer points to meditate and ponder on in your prayer room this week. The list are... Dear God, we pray for more concern for the needs and riches of our family in Jesus' name. Dear God, we pray for awesome relationship in the Word of Life ministry, a family that is exemplary, loving, and exhibiting the reign of grace in their lives through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mighty God, we pray that the values, ideas, and precepts that you teach us in the Bible are worth fighting for to bring financial benefits to the family. Heavenly Father, we pray that regardless of our position in the midst of adversity, we will continue to build families, homes, communities, and nation on the principle of God's holy word in Jesus' name. Our God, creator of the universe, we pray that you will help us to fight the good fight of faith so as to make our families prosperous and in good health. In Jesus' name, amen. Now let's say the watchword as we exit our prayer room. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Now, on behalf of the elders of Word of Life USC, we wish you a blessed week. Bye, my family in Christ. Until next Saturday.